As several of the Republicans running for president made appearances at the Iowa State Fair over the weekend. But Donald Trump's brief visit to Des Moines seemed to grab the most attention. The former president was there for less than two hours, arriving with about a dozen U.S. House members from Florida in a not-so-subtle dig at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who was also there. Trump spent a short time talking to the crowd, repeating his lie about the 2020 election being stolen. You know, we did great in 2016. We won. We did much better. I hate to say this. We did much better in 2020. The election was rigged. So we'll be back. We are not taking any chances. We're way up in the polls in Iowa and all over the country. We're up by over 50 points. That's a lot, but we don't want to take any chances. We'll be back. Meanwhile, Ron DeSantis received a mixed welcome at the state fair. He was heckled by Trump supporters throughout the day, including his appearance with Iowa's governor, Kim Reynolds. You know what? You know what? We're in Iowa, and in Iowa, we're Iowa nice. So let's give everybody the opportunity to hear our candidates. While DeSantis was speaking at that event, the Trump campaign trolled him, paying for a plane to fly overhead with a banner that read, Be Likeable, Ron. Another headline out of Iowa, the Iowa State Fair this week, Vivek Ramaswamy rapping to Eminem's Lose Yourself. The song was played after his fair side chat with the Iowa governor, and Ramaswamy went with it. Please stop. Rapping. No. Several bars no, of the Oscar-winning Let's, uh, song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the words of Gene Wilder and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Flat Factory, please don't stop. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard. He's in Fulton. He's in Fulton County, Georgia, right now after covering <laughs> politics in Iowa over the weekend. Vaughn. Uh, let's start with latest campaign trail, but I, 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 we don't want to talk about VVAX wrapping. Uh, we'll just leave that to the side. <laughs> um, I do, though, you know, I, we talk on the show all the time about gravity returning, right? That, that, that Donald Trump has, has, has completely shattered a lot of political norms, uh, a, lot of, a lot of constitutional norms. I gotta say, the, the, the cowbell ringing, the distracting, uh, the, the, the going around the Iowa State Fair with the, the governor of Iowa, that sort of seems like a self own in Iowa. That seems like one of those things where people look back if Ron DeSantis can actually find his footing and go, yeah, a lot of Iowa voters, they just, you know, that may have won Trump a moment with, with people from New York. Uh, doing stories about it, but it actually, that ain't Iowa nice. I'm curious what your thoughts were as you saw these people going around being abusive uh, through, throughout the Iowa fair in a state that prides itself at being nice. Right. I think, Joe, you're absolutely right. If Donald Trump were to not win this Iowa caucus, we'd have to look back to his relationship with Kim Reynolds and essentially throwing her off the cliff for the mere fact that she isn't endorsing him. Governors have a longstanding tradition of not endorsing in competitive Republican primaries. But, you know, for Donald Trump the last nine years, there has been no instance of outside of losing the 2020 election of political consequence of throwing fellow Republicans off the cliff. Usually it's those Republicans, Jeff Lake, Bob Corker, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, Tom Rice, who are the ones who ultimately get the boot. So for him, he's really putting his own political capital on the line. And Kim Reynolds is in his line of fire, suggesting that he doesn't near. And when you see those images at the Iowa State Fair, there were hundreds, thousands of people swarming Donald Trump. There is the, the, the presence of Donald Trump is powerful at an event like that. The motorcade, which I was riding in, it, it came into the state fairgrounds and it suddenly shut it down for the 85 minutes that he was on the ground. Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy's rapping, none of them have any impact like that. Ramaswamy was far and away not invited to the, the main grand stage, you know, to actually uh, uh, speak beyond uh, that presentation. I want to let. 